live streaming live Kara, streaming me. taping you, pictures. as you can see. I think it's gone a little too far, Louis, frankly. So this, I'm at the Stanford um, Business School. We're doing a session on life casting um, with people from uh, got Brett Taylor from Frenzy, Louis Glamour, all sorts of people. Um, we're going to do a panel on life casting and actually focus fascinatingly on the business plans, which I'm thrilled to do. This is an audience of VCs and students and various people who are interested in the topic. And we're going to talk, uh, we're going to get started in a minute. And it's a really great crowd and a really great topic. Um, I think scale is a really important thing to talk about when we talk about live streaming and particularly when we talk about content discovery. Um, you know, when, when we're talking about billions of videos and millions of blogs, um, any, any tool that attempts to, to solve the content discovery problem really needs to reflect that scale. Um, and, you know, so for example, on FriendFeed, you can share things on FriendFeed directly, but you can also use one of many, like 43 existing websites and we'll automatically pick up that activity. So we reflect the natural sort of decentralized nature of the web. Um, we already have over 100 million entries shared by our users. And when you log on to FriendFeed, we show you just the 30 that we think will be most relevant to you based on time and uh, based on your social network's interests. People not only post things which you can view, but you can also reply. So exactly the same experience as, you know, back to the basics, just a forum or a blog post or a, uh, a fun, you know, conversation, but all in video. And I also thought a lot about the, uh, what you get on TVs in, in talk shows, being frustrated that it's only five people. And with the power of the internet, if you talk politics, if you have someone fighting with someone else, it's like right now happening a lot, it should be open to anyone. And not only people who can uh, show up on TV. I've been communicating with my close group of friends, and when I find something funny online, I want to be able to send it to them. And didn't necessarily have really a great way to do that, because I wanted a place where I could share everything, right? Like I wanted to send links, I wanted to send YouTube videos, I wanted to send photos, I wanted to send events, and I wanted to go out to the same group of a friend. So I'll log into my personal account. I actually don't have a demo account yet, so you guys might see some things that <laughs> might see some see some interesting stuff. But. Jeff Clavier, how you doing? Mr. I'm BC. great. What do you what do you think is the most important aspect of life casting at this point? Well, I think that it's a way for people to share in real time what right. their passion is, what they are doing, what they are thinking, what they are feeling, right. and that could. That could seem uninteresting, but it's interesting to their friends and to many, many people. Okay, now so when, we just have to power when, that. When is the monetization of all this? I like social network. I'm sold on it, Jeff. But when is the monetization really going to kick in? So because, because the things we're sharing are so intimate, because the things we're sharing are the, and the instant, we have to figure out how this is going to make it, how to make it work. I'm not really sort of certain right now is the, is the time to actually do this. There are people like uh, Twitter Ific, uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter client, which is inserting a bit of ads in between the content, that's one way of doing it. I think that what matters to me is how to make a lot of money on those services and maybe it's just too early in their adoption, right. broad adoption, to figure that out. Excellent. Jeff, thanks a lot. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, Brett Taylor from Frenzy, how you doing? Hi, nice to meet Listen, you. what do you think is most important about, we just talked about life casting, the ideas, what, what, what did you take away from it? Uh, one thing I don't think was talked about a lot, but you know, this is a new product category, and so I think the bigger challenge is like figuring out what is the product that will go mainstream mm -hmm. more than how do, does one competitor beat another competitor. Right. I think it's still in the market proving stage, not uh -huh. the you know competition stage. Right. And I think that's a really important. And what do you think the most important trend in the air in social network? I, mean, I think everyone's sold that it's an important idea. The monetization is still yeah. questionable. Yeah. When does that change? Uh, that's a good question. I think it, w it will change when it changes. I think, you know, ah, I like that. It, it, it's, it sounds like a cop-out answer. I know. It is a cop-out answer. Uh, it is right a cop -out. Well, basically what it means is like when it happens, like people are doing lots and lots of, I think, very interesting experiments right now. The number of different monetization ideas being implemented in MySpace and Facebook alone are really, you know, it's really amazing. Right. One of them, or it may be that it's like the collection of all of them, you know, is like a, a nice viable business, or maybe that one works so much better it will be like overturn Google's AdWords and like the entire industry adopts it sure. all in one fell swoop. Great. I really think only time will tell. Excellent. Thanks, Brett. My pleasure. All right, Leah, talk to me about, we just talked about sort of where social networks is coming and you're talking about this sort of lots of niches and it being okay to have a lot of companies like this. Explain that to me. I mean, we had a little argument about it, the idea that there, I don't think there can be as many, you think there can be tons of them. Tell me why you think that. 
I think there can be a lot now because they're cheap to build. People have diverse interests. The internet is full of all sorts of weird, different people. And as soon as we lower the barriers to entry on new social networks, which a lot of people are working on, they're working on technologies like OpenID, they're working on Social Graph API, Yahoo just launched a new technology for connecting friends. There are all these projects to make that barrier to entry super low so that people can do what they want to do on the web. And I think that's a good thing. And what is the most promising trend? Open. You talked about Open being a critically important. Why is that? Why Yahoo's trying to do more of it. They're doing the one connect stuff. They're adding stuff to their homepage. It's, it's again, just lowering the barrier to entry. I mean, it's in the best interest of large companies if they're going to build, build secondary products or expand their business to make these things super easy for the uh -huh. users. And what's what's next for your company? What do you what do you what are you most focused on at this moment? We're actually doing a visual redesign and focusing on more communication and communication across different platforms. And your goal, you said, was messaging everywhere. The idea of messaging everywhere. Yeah, messaging everywhere and messaging fast and good and able to communicate with the people you know. All right, great. Well, we're going to do that by mind meld at some point. You realize that, don't you? About what? Mind meld. We're going to do it by mind meld someday. <laughs> someday we will be the board. Right. It's, <laughs> it's well, coming. It's, it's just coming. a matter of time. Yeah, exactly. Thanks a lot, Lee. I appreciate it. Thanks. Malik Lemur, what, did you think, what were we talking about here? What, what was your takeaway? Um, well, there is a, a huge movement which is beginning, which is the instant web. And right. I think that was a fascinating conversation on uh, how different it is from the old web. And right. that is it's static, dull, it's multi. So passé. It's the multi second Quoi. web versus the exactly. millisecond well, it's like, web. It's like I want my friends now, all the time, right. always, whether right. it's in text or in video, right. regardless. I want but them Louis, now. Louis, money making. You know, I'm a little bit of a stickler yes, on I know, that Cara. issue. Yes. When? When, please? So, you know, Exact it's amazing. I good? got from this in Stanford, I got about, you know, 30 business cards right. from either academics or consultant or, you know, companies who want to do things together. So right. there was one gentleman in the health industry right. who told me there are like tons of opportunities you can't imagine right. uh, for like people, you know, being affected by uh, by a, a sickness right. of some sort okay. and they will share with this with their doctor and I had no okay, idea. Okay, so sick people talking to each other on Seismic is your business no, plan? I think we'll have uh, enough of an audience to get, you know, focused, you know, enough groups so that it will be appealing for Nike to advertise on the right. runners group. Right. That's okay. one, right? right. Yeah. Then we'll have some kind of a pro version. Right. I don't think it's going to be huge. Right. But I think where the business model will be is working with companies and academics and, you know, like we launch the... Uh, and, and last question. Are yes. you going to stop twittering I so love much? When you, uh, I love you... Sorry? Are you going to stop twittering so much, Louis? Can you make a promise right now? You yeah. want me to stop? As much, Louis. Am I polluted? Yeah, you, you said that I was overflowing information. Yes, you are. TMI. It's called too you much would, information. You would advise me not to do it. I would advise you not to do it. It's but that's not, okay, Louis. It's just you. Wait. Okay, last one. Last no, thing. it's not a question. I, I just answered. Uh, it's, 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 I think, the thing that around this microblogging is that you're connecting your brain directly to your, you know, to your friends. And then I don't Okay, think I don't want to be connected to you no, by but brain. that's fine. Yeah, okay. just don't follow me, please. Cara. I have to, Louis. I, will, I can't. I can't look away. <laughs> oh, All right, yes, Louis, I have to go now. All right, thank oh, you, that's fine. Thank I'm gonna, you. I need to go check my Twitter feed about you right now. Okay? Thank you, Kara. I'm also following you okay, a lot. Okay, goodbye, <laughs> Louis.